we're in Fairfield today for the next Queen City Eat segment, and we are featuring the jungle. And I'm talking about jungle gyms. No, there's no safari around here. Well, that's questionable. No. This international food market is known for really just having so many unique things for people here in Cincinnati to try out and beyond as well. So let's go check it out. Hey, I'm Mark Borson. I am the producer and host of the John Jim's podcast. I also do a lot of our social media video content. If somebody hasn't heard of Jungle Jim's, I'm shocked that they haven't, but yeah. Tell us, what is Jungle Gyms? I usually tell people, I'm like, imagine Willy Wonka and Walt Disney met each other, and they were like, what if we built a grocery store? Absolutely. You know? Yes. I mean, we've got the working monorail out front that goes between the two event centers. Uh, so there, there is a ride here. We've got talking animatronics. The big thing here is that we obviously carry things like American grocery, but in my opinion, the stars of the show here are A, some of the best produce I've ever eaten in my entire life, and then obviously the international section, which is currently expanding again. I mean, we carry food from over over 75 different countries. And it's it can get really granular, it's really cool, but it's a really fun way to learn about all kinds of different culture, uh, easy way to learn, a delicious way to learn. Delicious so. way, I love that. When I first moved here, of course I was asking, okay, what should I go do? Where should I go explore? And this was one of the main spots. They're like, oh, you gotta go to Jungle Gyms. Oh, you gotta go try the food. The real question is, what do you wanna try today? I don't know. I've seen so many things here <laughs> that I've never heard of before. Right. So I might just let you guide me through. That sounds good. I mean, there is, okay. uh, I think we just broke 200,000 different SKUs or something crazy like that in the store. Oh, okay. Some insane number like that. So yeah, I mean, are you trying to say that that many products might be overwhelming so <laughs> The only thing I don't want to try, and I've seen these, sorry, jungle, no, I apologize. Okay. Hit me. The tarantulas. <laughs> Here, this is for you, Mud. <laughs> well, they taste like chips made out of burnt hair, but I'm horrified of this. All right, we're in international produce right now where you can find all kinds of unique different produce that you might not be expecting. I, in my hand, for example, you've had bananas, but you haven't had all kinds of different bananas. These are definitely from Honduras, so you can see on the sticker there. But um, yeah, you'd be amazed. And the flavor is, they're all different. Vietnamese spinach, daikon radish. It's kind of beautiful. I swear we've been stealing the flavors of these fruits for American candies. I can't prove it, but when you taste one, you'll be like, oh, weird, that tastes like what you would consider an artificial flavor. It's really good. I've never seen one of these before. I don't know what this is. I'm guessing it's a patty pan squash. I've never heard of this. I don't know who patty. I don't know how this looks like a pan. Welcome to the wine cellar. All kinds of fancy wines. Now we have a lot on the floor too in the sales area and these are for sale too, but let me give you an idea why. These are some of the average price points in this room. We're in bakery and candy right now. So a couple cool things. First off, we've got candy from like all time, right? Like I've got, these are old Coney Island bumper cars that hold old timey candy, but you've got all kinds of stuff we can see here. On the other side is the bakery in the back there right now. We have a Jelly Belly portrait of Jungle Jim up on the wall here. I think they've broken it. Yeah, Chinese ramen, Filipino ramen, Thai, Japanese, Nepalese. Vietnamese. Want to watch along with me? You can follow Jungle Gyms International Markets on YouTube. And then I release not just uh, every Wednesday, I put out the podcast episode, but we do shorts. We do separate videos. Crazy. This whole place is crazy. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> Got to get there though, oh right? Gosh. Mark's such a good guy and so much food. 